We're getting shit done. So we're making a wind spinner as a tutorial for my metals class, but we're modifying a design we found on the interwebs. We're going to try and crank it out in a short amount of time so that I can have it for a demo. So in the video, they had 12 discs that are 7 inches diameter. We don't got that. So we're going to do 5 discs, 12 inch diameter. It's getting real. You know it's for school, right? Beep's getting real. <laughs> All right, edited it myself. Thank you. Kara is using the left-handed snips, left-handed. Well, this is left-handed. And I'm using the right-hand one, right-handed. Now what are you doing? Cutting the tubing at 20 inches long. We took a guess, think of 20 inches. For the arms. Support, plus wrapping around three-quarter inch pipe. Yeah. Alrighty. I'm gonna take some big files and some little files. I'm gonna grind down all the nasty sharp edges. Yeah, beatboxing now. The bow's gonna flatten six inches in and two inches in. Woo! Woo! So we have great thought, surface contact. I thought that'd be hard. No, no, it's soft copper. Well, since we weren't smart enough to find center when it was a square, now we have to use a center square to find the center of a circle. So it just has two little knobbies on it. You put the knobbies, make a line, turn it, make a second line. Where the lines intersect, there's your center. X marks the spot, just X like- X marks the spot of a center square when you didn't find the center of a square, now you have to find the center of a circle. Indiana Jones. Ramas. Okay, so we're gonna take what's pounded flat and put a hook on it on three quarter inch copper pipe so that it fits our good three quarter inch copper pipe. So I'm using a sacrificial one in case I decide I hit too hard and I bend it. I don't want to wreck the good one. Sounds good. Six of them. Boop boop. Fuck. Mark it center. So that way when I take the film off, I can still find center. Willy Wonka, the golden ticket, ah, the copper golden. ticket. Look at your face, it's lit up like a barber hat painting. And there's center. Boom. Okay, prepping the cap for the end of the copper pipe so everything is nice and sanded. Why? Because dirty metal doesn't solder. Thank you, Dave Reisinger. Mm -hmm. My metal's meant for it. it alive? Yeah. Is that your futon beater? Oh, this is my... It's your lollipop. That's yeah, not too bad for, nice for sweat soldering. Thank you. Ooh, little, little schmuckish I'll have to clean up. Mm -hmm. I did not flex a pipe yet. No way. <laughs> So we took 360 divided by 6 because we have 6 panels or 6 things. That's 60 degrees. Now what if somebody doesn't have an angle finder? Use the best tool God gave them. Right. Right. Save room for this one and then make room for a third one. And then by the time you get to the fourth one, you could swing it out so it makes a perfectly straight line. And then when you get to fifth and sixth, you can space them out exactly across from the other two that you put down. So if you don't have an angle finder, that's the next best thing. So if I go from underneath with our spiral staircase of vice grips, what you doing? Me? No. Oh, no, I'm, the other guy. I'm intended to look at the <laughs> measurement. Because you can never have enough vice grips. Thank you, Tommy Bohr. Mm. 
Just stay up there, because I guess I don't need oh. the other torch, so stay oh, up there. okay. Fine, I'll just eat my chocolate bar alone. Like you do every day. Yeah, I'm a fatty. <laughs> So what are we realizing with this one? It's pretty, but we got a lot of learning to do. We got some learning to do. Huh?